Hello, welcome to the Lasseter Factor Podcast. I'm your host, Bradford Lasseter, and this is the podcast where I talk about anything in the world of entertainment, from movies, TV, music, pop culture, you name it. And if you're listening, thank you so much for listening. Now, for this first episode of the podcast, I just wanted to use this first episode to introduce myself so that y'all know who I am and just get a glimpse into my world and who I am as a person so that you know where I'm coming from whenever I give my opinions and what you can expect moving forward with this podcast. The number one thing you should know about me is I love movies. Ever since I was a young child, I grew up loving movies. I loved watching movies. Now, there are four movies that I love. There are, there are my four favorite movies of all time that I love for different reasons. Number one being the Disney animated classic, The Lion King. Now, no words can explain how much that movie means to me. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite animated films of all time. Actually, my my num my number one favorite animated film of all time. I vividly remember my mom. My earliest childhood memory is of my mom taking me to the movie theater to go see The Lion King in theaters. I vividly remember that, and I still have the VHS to this day. The second one. <laughs> funny enough because like my mom saw the Lion King with me when I saw it for the first time and then my dad he introduced me to the original Star Wars the original Star Wars trilogy that is A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi I love those movies to death I love those movies because it just I it, it pretty much inspired me from a creative standpoint it just inspired me to just create stories that don't necessarily have to be true or you know just, just to create stories and, but the but the one movie that I love that pretty much wanted me to, to get into filmmaking in front of and behind the camera was Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man movie starring Tobey Maguire. I remember my dad, he took me to the midnight premiere of that movie on my 11th birthday. And I had just been memorized with that movie ever since. And, and so later on that year, we, we bought our first DVD player. And one of the first DVDs I got as a Christmas gift was that Spider-Man movie. And and not only did I love watching that movie on DVD, but I saw all the special features. And that's when it dawned on me, like, oh, there's a director, there's a producer, there's an editor, there's a cinematographer, actor, cameraman, the whole nine. So, yeah, that original Spider-Man movie was what pretty much inspired me to get into filmmaking. But the fourth film, well, number one, Lion King, number two, the original Star Wars trilogy. So I guess that would make it like, what, three or six? I don't know. But but it's really four because I consider the original Star Wars trilogy as one movie. But that's neither here nor there. But the fourth, mo- the fourth movie that is my favorite film of all time is Boys in the Hood. Because I guess you can say that film changed my life. Like that was the film that told me that films are more than just entertainment. They could be a means to, to shed light on a situation to tell a story a good story that that shed lights on anything that's happening in the real world and so from there on out i just loved movies and wanted to get into filmmaking from from the first time my mother from the first time my mom she took me into that dark room and i saw the sun rising over the savannah and from the time when my dad sat me down in front of the tv and I saw those yellow words pop up on the screen for the first time. I've always loved movies. Now, of course, like I said, movies isn't the only thing I love. Like, I also love movies. Like, f- as far as music goes, like, I'm pretty much neglected. Neglective. Like, I li- listen to anything from hip-hop, R&B, rock, gospel. Mm, the only thing I don't really listen to is country music. Like, that's probably my least favorite genre of music. But, hey. That ain't my cup of tea, but hey, it's, it's, every, it's anyone else's cup of tea. If you like it, that's cool that you like it. Hey, awesome. Everyone is entitled to listen to whatever they want to listen to. But I will also say that about 65% of the time, maybe 70% of the time, I listen to hip-hop and R&B. But I'm also open-minded and just love to listen to music. But my favorite, what I love is when they combine different genres of music and fuse it together. Um... I also played sports when I was in high school. Like I love, like I love football. I played football when I was in high school. My favorite football team is the Carolina Panthers. Yes, I know they're not doing very good right now. In fact, the season that just passed. Yeah, let's just not speak of it. But despite the fact that the Carolina Panthers are my favorite football team, I am not from Carolina, North Carolina, or South Carolina. I am from Waldorf, Maryland. 
us. <laughs> but but the only reason I love the Carolina Panthers is because most of my family is from down there. So that just gave me a genuine love for that team. But anyway, so yeah, I love football, but I also wrestled back in high school. Now, I'll say that wrestling was probably my best sport that I played in wrestling. It's probably the best shape of my life when I was in high school because I love wrestling like my freshman year I was in the 180 weight class and then the rest of my high school career I was in 215 so so once I graduated from high school class of 2010 represent <laughs> but once I graduated high school I went to the Art Institute of Washington and majored in digital filmmaking in video production got my bachelor's degree in that I graduated from there in 2014 and from there, I made short films and music videos. I recorded wedding videos. I tried to do anything from editing, directing, writing, you name it. And just at the Art Institute of Washington, and just knowing knowing what I know now, that gave me a genuine love and appreciation. Yeah, love and appreciation for filmmaking. Excuse me. Hell, I even say that while I was in film school, I discovered even more films that. I thought I would never see and then it's just films that just smaller films like independent films and films that I had never even seen seen before like more so older films like during my time in college I, I never saw the Godfather trilogy up until that point and I saw it and that film was just beautiful there's a whole bunch of franchises and old films that I had never seen up until that point and I'm glad that I discovered them but the one thing that I discovered most is film criticism. Now, I'll say before I discovered that, like, I was on a mindset of, like, screw the critics. They don't know nothing. But then once, but then as I looked up movie reviewers and critics on YouTube, like the Schmelz No, Jeremy Johnson, Chris Stuckman, Collider Movie Talk, and um, Screen Junkies with their honest trailers, like, just hearing other people's opinion, I realized how much I like listening to other people's opinion. Not just on movies, but on music. And with music, I like listening to dead end hip hop because I like hearing their thoughts and opinions on albums. But movies, movie criticism, I really got into it so much that I wanted to start my own channel on YouTube. And if you look look on my channel, it's Bradford Lasseter. Just look, just type in my name on YouTube, and uh, you'll see all my movie reviews that I've done thus far. But I really have had a real big fascination with movie reviews because. I don't know there's just something about listening to other people talk about movies because it's like when they share their share their love of movies and you show your love of movies that just brings a whole new community together it's just everyone has something in common they just have that one thing and that is film because you all have a love for film in some way or another but back to my YouTube channel real quick. So yeah, I've done movie reviews and you can see all of my directorial and editing work on there as well. But I've done movie reviews from films from 2013 on to now. Though I will say if you have the last movie review I did was of Spider-Man Homecoming. That's because, you know, I'm taking a slight little hiatus from my channel because, well, one is like, is like one I wanted to start this podcast is I want I really wanted to start something new I really needed a new start now don't worry my channel will still be up and I will be bringing up some new reviews like trust me if anyone who's seen my channel know that I love Star Wars all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and trust me like whenever when Star Wars the Last Jedi comes out best believe I will do a review of that and when Thor Ragnarok comes out I will do a review of that and even the DC Extended Universe movies I've done reviews for that like I did the did a review for Wonder Woman so Best believe I will do a review of Justice League when that comes out. I'm really, really, really curious to see how that movie comes out because given everything that DC's done, given everything with DC lately, like I'll talk more about them later, but I'm really hoping that Justice League turns, writes the ship for um, the DC Extended Universe. But if you follow my channel, thank you for... Thank you for following, and, just, and don't worry, I will be coming back to my channel really, really, really soon. I just needed to take a little time away to just, I guess, just reevaluate some things and reevaluate how I approach my channel and really wanted to take the time to start this podcast because it's something that I really wanted, been, really wanted to try out for a long, long time, and now I have a chance to do it, so, and here I am. <laughs> 
And I also want to apologize if I, if it seems like I'm talking low. The reason I'm talking low right now is because it's late at night right now, and I don't want to disturb my roommates if they're awake or asleep. So, yeah. But if you can hear me, awesome. But just bear with me. Like this is just the first episode. Of, this is this is just the first episode, after all. And I'm just getting into this whole podcast game, and I just really hope y'all bear with me and that y'all engage in me and i really hope you stay along for this ride with me because i really have some cool stuff that i want to talk about with this podcast moving forward like like i told you with this first episode i just really wanted to you know just to wanted y'all to get to know me that some episodes moving forward is i want to have a tv related episode i'm gonna have an episode with a with a whole bunch of with some good friends of mine talking about the current state of hip-hop right now um, I want to later on when um later on this month when Transformers: The Last Night comes out on Blu-ray, I'm gonna see if I can get a good friend of mine on this show because he's a huge friend of Transformers and Michael Bay, and I really just want to want to have a good discussion about that. A lot of things I want to talk about with this podcast, and even currently with news and music and everything and i just really hope y'all come along in this journey with me and if you do i really 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 appreciate it and just thank you so yeah that is me now i'm not gonna now this podcast won't be too long like i'll try to keep it at 30 minutes at a minimum but i'll guess like right now i'm just gonna talk a little bit about music and movies for a little bit and then i'll talk about some stuff that i've heard in the world of movies for a little bit and just do a quick rundown but as far as music goes, like, again, I told you, I listen to anything like, well, first off, my favorite rock band of all time is Linkin Park. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Oh, boy, yeah, when I heard that news, that hurt my soul. Like, there's a couple of celebrity deaths where I really, really felt some type of way about that. Number one being Michael Jackson, Bernie Mac, Paul Walker, anyone who, again, anyone who watches my channel know that I'm a huge fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, and and saw the video I made about Paul Walker when he passed. So, yeah, so, again, celebrity deaths that really hit me was Michael Jackson, Bernie Mac, Robin Williams, Paul Walker, Carrie Fisher, who played Princess Leia in Star Wars, and Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park, because I grew up listening to Lincoln Park. No words can describe how much that band means to me. They've got me through some rough times. They've got me through some good times. I just love that band. So... Just Bennington. So yeah, Lincoln Park is my favorite band of all time, but as far as hip hop goes, I love hip hop. Um no particular order, my top five favorite rappers of all time are Eminem, Kanye West, Childish Gambino, Common the Game. Is that five? Let me see. Eminem, Kanye West, Childish Gambino, Common. In the game, yeah. And you know what? Screw it. I'll give it a six. I like Drake. Drake, he's one of my favorite rappers of all time as well. As far as singers go, uh, that really varies. Well, I see off the top of my head, I love Frank Ocean. I love his music and just the way he's revitalized R&B. I just love it. So, yes, I love Frank Ocean. Michael Jackson, of course, as I mentioned earlier. Um, see, who else I listen to as far as singers go? Um... Wow, those are all I can. Re I really do listen to a lot of singers. It's just wow. It's just I mainly like hip hop and rap because is what I grew up with. Is what I I guess you could say is what I resonate with more. Now, even though I listen to hip hop, R and B, rock, gospel, and all that, I also like listening to to film scores for movies, like soundtracks. Like some of my favorite film composers are Hans Zimmer. You might know him. He made the themes for Batman, The Dark Knight. I mean, not Batman, but like the Dark Knight, Man is Still, that Man is Still theme. Who gives, gives me chills every time I listen to it? Um, he did the soundtrack for The Lion King, of course. Um, he's done multiple movies for Christopher Nolan. He's done, mul he's done music for multiple Christopher Nolan movies. Um, let's see, who else? I love John Williams, of course. He's done music for Harry Potter, Star Wars, E.T., Indiana Jones, the original Superman theme. Um, Steve Jablonski, who's done music for Transformers, I think his music kicks ass. Um, I listen to a lot of f film composers because, again, I told you, like, I'm very open minded about music. I like to listen to anything, even orchestra music from movies, you know? 
Now, I do listen to gospel music, you know, because I did grow up going going to church, so I, I do know a fair amount of gospel music. And funny enough, I say I grew up going to church. I say that as I just cursed just a second ago. But, you know, I, not all Christians are perfect, you know, but I feel like, you know, as long as you got God and that's all that really that's all that really matters, you know. You know, I feel like I am a Christian, but I'm not a perfect Christian. You know, Lord knows I've never been a saint, but, you know, I try to do the right thing, you know. But as far as gospel music goes, I love Kirk Franklin, John P. Key, Ron Connolly, Mary Mary. Um, Yeah, you know. Now, enough about music. Let's go back to the movies. So, now, I told you my, my number one love other than, well, my number one love other than God and family is movies like. I love movies because they just, it's a chance for you to escape in. Not only that, if you love movies enough, you want to try to do it yourself. And you try to create your own stories. Like, I remember when I was younger, I'd take all my toys and action figures and just pretend like I'm making a movie and try to make my own stories. And that right there was, that's when it dawned on me. Like, I want to be a screenwriter. So I have a couple of screenplays that I have written up and have saved for years. And right now I'm at a point in my life where I'm, or like I'm just want to isolate myself from the world and just sit there and just create and just write. And I really am trying. Now let's just talk about the different genres in movies and what my favorite films within that genre like action. Like again, like I told you, one of my favorite. Like um, I told you, I love the Fast and Furious franchise. I've done reviews of all those movies. Like. Fast Five is my favorite of all the Fast and Furious movies. As far as other action films go, I like the Die Hard movies. Um, I love, even though it is a sci-fi movie, I do consider it an action movie, and I love Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Not only a good sci-fi movie, but the best within the Terminator franchise. The three films that follow after it, you can just pretend like those don't exist. Um, let's see, what other, what other action films do I love? Like, I love Robert Rodriguez's um, Machete. Machete Kills. Just going to pretend like that doesn't exist, but I love Machete. The first one, Danny Trejo. I love him in that film. I love the Mad Max films, especially Mad Max Fury Road. That was one of my favorite films of 2015. The Matrix, a sci-fi action film. I love that film. Um, Aliens. Again, even though it's a sci-fi film, I consider that an action film. Shout out to James Cameron for that. Oh, another one of my favorite action films of all time, the Bat Boys movies. And you know, I just heard that they canceled Bat Boys 3. I don't know what's the deal with that, but I'm really mad about that. They should get Michael Bay for that. So, you know, I like the Jason Bourne movies. I like Kingsman, the Secret Service. I can't wait for Kingsman, the Golden Circle. I can't wait for that to come out. Let's talk about comedies. My, I will tell you right now, straight up, my favorite comedy of all time is the first Hangover. I remember I saw that with one of my old friends when I was a teenager. And like, I remember at the time, I really wanted to see Terminator Salvation, but he really wanted to see The Hangover. Now, at first, I was just hesitant, but I was like, all right, you know, he's about to go away for a little while, so I might as well just go ahead and see this with him, you know? Now, I never regretted it ever since. I love that movie to death. Like, I remember when I first got that movie on DVD, I watched that movie every day. You know you love a movie when you watch a movie every day because you just love that movie so much. You want to spend some more time with those characters. You just want to relive everything, and that just movie continues to make you laugh. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Some more of my favorite comedy. I'll, I'll actually say my second favorite comedy of all time is one that my dad actually loved and that is my cousin Vinny you know with um Joe Pesci Marissa Tomei and Ralph Macchio I love that film that's probably my favorite um um Joe Pesci film and speaking of Joe Pesci my favorite Christmas film of all time is Home Alone every Christmas is a tradition of mine but the tradition that I like to do every Christmas is sit down and watch the first two Home Alone movies. The other films after that, again, we just gonna pretend like those never exist. No, I didn't. I actually didn't mind the third film, but you know that, that's neither here nor there. But I love Home Alone, favorite Christmas film of all time. Some other comedies I love is um, Ted. I love those movies. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. What I love. 
another holiday movie I love is the first um Bad Santa movie. I love that movie. That film is hilarious. Billy Bob Thornton is something else in that film, I swear. <laughs> um, Meet the Parents with Ben Stiller and Robert De Niro. I love that. Um, let's see. My favorite romantic comedy right now is Crazy Stupid Love with Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, Julianne Moore. I like, I do love that movie. Um, let's see, what other? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I like another one of my favorite comedies, um, Step Brothers. I'm not the huge, I'm not a huge fan of Will Ferrell, but I do love Step Brothers. Like that's one of the few Will Ferrell movies that I actually like. What other comedies do I like? Um, right now, I'm just looking at my um, Blu-ray and DVD collection and see what movies I have. Um, oh, Coming to America, my favorite Eddie Mur Murphy film of all time. Knocked Up, my favorite Seth Rogen film. So that's all I can think of for um, comedy. Ooh, animated films. I love me some good animated films. Like I already mentioned earlier, I love The Lion King. That's one of my favorite animated films of all time. But I do like other animated films. Like, to me, a criminally underappreciated animated film is one of DreamWorks' earlier films, and that is The Prince of Egypt. I swear, that movie is not as celebrated as much as it should be. Yo, if you haven't seen The Prince of Egypt, go see that. That is a great film right there. Speaking of DreamWorks, I do like the Shrek movies. I like um, the Kung Fu Panda movies. Some other films I love from Disney. Um, from Disney, again, I mentioned Lion King is my favorite anime film, let alone favorite Disney film. But the other Disney films I love are Aladdin, Be Beauty and the Beast, Hunchback and Notre Dame, Hercules, Mulan, Little Mermaid, Pocahontas, Hercules. Like all the Disney movies that came out during the 90s is my favorite era of Disney, which is called the Disney Renaissance. I love all those movies. That's my favorite era of Disney. And of course, also part of that era is the Pixar films, which I also love. Like, I love the Toy Story trilogy, um, The Incredibles, Finding Nemo. I didn't mind Finding Dory. Um, let's see. Inside Out. Ooh. Talk about a tear trigger right there. Inside Out. Wow. Um, let's see. What other Pixar films are there? Um, a Bug's Life, another criminally underappreciated animated film, in my opinion. That's A Bug's Life. I, I rewatched that film today. I mean, not today, but yesterday. Yo, if A Bug's Life is a brilliant film that people get, then people give it credit for. So, yeah. Um, I like The Jungle Book, both the animated and the live action version. Um, an American Tale. Um, I like that movie, yeah. Let's see, what other animated films do I like? Um, um, I'm trying to think of one more before I go. Um, I guess you could, I guess I'll, I'll say some more Disney films like The Emperor's New Groove, Lilo and Stitch, um, Snow White, yeah, I like those. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of animated films. Um, drama films. I, I, can I can enjoy a good drama film. Like um, Concussion with Will Smith. Um, I guess I would consider this in the action genre, but a film that I forgot to mention earlier, Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. I love that film. Coach Carter is one of my not only my one of my favorite sports films, let alone favorite basketball film, but one of my favorite dramas. Speaking of dramas, the whole Rocky series plus Creed. I love those films. Except um Rocky Five. I don't hate that film, but it could have been better, yeah. Um, I love the majority of Quentin Tarantino's filmography from Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, Django Unchained, uh, Glorious Bastards, um, Death Proof. Yeah, in fact, Quentin Tarantino, he's one of my, you know what, let me take a moment to, to um, name some of my favorite directors. Like Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Quentin Tarantino, John Singleton, who directed Boys in the Hood, and he also directed Poetic Justice, Baby Boy, Four Brothers, Higher Learning. He produced Hustle and Flow. Um, Spike Lee, 
I don't did I mention Spike Lee? But yeah, I love Spike Lee. He do the right thing. Another one of my favorite films of all time. And he also did um Jungle Fever, Crooklyn, he got game, school days. I love Christopher Nolan, like I love Inception. Um yeah, those are some of my favorite directors that I love. Oh, I'll say Jordan Peele, right? I don't. I can't speak for the future, but right now I'll just call that Jordan Peele. He's one of my favorites right now because right now Get Out is one of my favorite. Is my favorite. It is my number one favorite film of 2017 so far. Now listen to Star Wars comes out and that might change everything, but yeah, right now Get Out is my favorite film of 2017. Um, I already mentioned some sports films I love. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of horror films, but I can appreciate a good horror film when I see it, like Don't Breathe, The Conjuring One and Two. Um, so lights out. I love horror movie monsters like Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th movies, Freddy Krueger from the A Nightmare on Elm Street movies, Chucky from the Child's Play movies. Um, I like the Final Des- the Final Destination movies. Those are some guilty pleasure movies of mine. Silence of the Lambs. Good one. Um, fantasy films I love like. I love the Harry Potter series. I have the books and I have the movies. I love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. They're all right. Um, see, those are the only fantasy movies I can think of. <laughs> um, right now, musicals is I probably say is my least favorite genre. Like I've seen La La Land. I actually like La La Land, but you know, I do. Th- is it overhyped? Yes, but I'll say. <laughs> what I'll say my my favorite music of all time is actually Dream Girls. Oddly, like there's no I can't explain it, but Dream it, it, Dream Girls is just such a brilliant film with great music, great acting, and just a great story. Just uh, <laughs> if you follow my ch- follow my YouTube channel, I'll probably do a review of it one day. But yeah, and of course, um, my number one favorite genre of movies is comic book films. Because yeah, the original Spider-Man film, that's what got me into filmmaking. So I love the original Spider-Man trilogy. Yes, even Spider-Man 3. I like that movie, despite its flaws. I even recognize its flaws. Um, of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Iron Man movies, the Thor movies, the Captain America movies, Captain America Civil War being my favorite MCU film. Of course, you got the Avengers and Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron. Um... Who else? The Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant Man, the Hulk. <laughs> I really can't wait to see um Black Panther. I'm, I just can't wait. I just need that movie to come out already, yo. Um, so yeah, the, the MCU movies and of course the X Men movies. I love those films. Logan, another one of my favorite films of this year. And of course we got the DC films. Like I really, you know, say what you will about the DCEU, but they've given it a good swing, and they've gone done some good films like the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. I love one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Um, the earlier Batman films, minus the Schum- the Joe Schumacher Batman films, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Ooh, yeah, especially Batman and Robin. That movie was shit, complete. Utter shit. <laughs> um. So yeah, what else is it? Oh yeah, the DCEU like um Wonder Woman, another one of my favorite films of this year so far. Um, what else? Oh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, despite my, f- I prefer the ultimate cut of that film. Man of Steel. It's actually not a bad film that people get a credit for. Suicide Squad, yeah, probably the most polarizing film of all the DCEU films, but I liked it for what it was. Could have been better, yeah. Um, so, um, oh, some sci-fi films. I already mentioned I like um Star Wars, one of my favorite films of all time. Even the prequels, yes, but Revenge of the Sith is my favorite of the prequels. But um, some other sci-fi films or franchises that I like is the Alien movies. Um, I just I just had one in my head. Um, Species, a, another guilty pleasure film of mine. I like. I'm not. I didn't really grow up watching Star Trek, but I do like the recent Star Trek films, like the the two J.J. Abrams films and Star Trek Beyond, which came out last year. Um, I get a kick out of the Transformers films every now and then. Yes, even the shittier ones, but 
I will say that until Michael Bay leaves, I don't really want to see another Transformers movie. Um, I like the Hunger Games movies. The Fly. Yo, up until last year, I had never seen The Fly with Jeff Goldblum. When I saw it, I was like, yo, that movie was freaking great. <laughs> um, the Terminator movies. Yeah. yeah. Before I go, I just wanted to... Uh, I guess give a quick rundown on some things I've heard in the in the news as far as movies go. Um, like for example, for example, like Ed Screen, who you all remember, who played Ajax in Deadpool. Um, he quit um a role in the in the Hellboy remake or reboot, whatever you want to call it, because because of whitewashing. Now that was a noble move on his part. I will give him credit for that because you know after the whole goes to the shelf fiasco with Scarlett Johansson and. You know, and gossip. Like right now, how I stand with um, whitewashing in Hollywood is really getting out of hand. Yes, I understand. Like they've been doing that for decades, even going back to the days of what um, what was it, Ten Commandments or um, or was it Ruby or Ben Hur came out? They were whitewashing. But now it's like you know we live in a progressive world, so like there needs to be some type of change. And so I'm just glad to see that. See actors like Ed Screen like saying like, no, this needs to stop. We need to move forward and we and we need and if you're gonna have characters like this you need to some cast someone who was appropriate for that role so i so hands hands down to ed screen for that <coughs> um the fact that they are making a second joker mm, uh, that's just has a whole bunch of wheels turning in my head because like just weird i just my faith in dc was restored and then this is like i don't know what they are doing at warner brothers in dc but <sighs> again like i just hope this justice league i just really need this justice league movie to be good because once that's good okay i can that'll give me that'll give me pause and i can take a good breath of fresh air like okay i know where we're going with the dceu And that is all I got for you right now. And if you've been listening, you've made it up to this point. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you thank you for listening. And I hope you learned a lot by me. And I told you, like, expect for some some good episodes coming in the not too distant future. Like I'm really excited for this podcast and I just really hope you come on this journey with me and that this part po- and this podcast well like, this podcast is like a hobby to me and then if you come along with me i promise you i will make this the best podcast as possible thank you so much for listening and you can find me on all social medias like facebook twitter instagram snapchat just at bradford lassiter thank you so much for listening i'm your host bradford lassiter and this is the lassiter factor